What's up, Riverhawk fans? Welcome back to this week's edition of the Riverhawk Report, and welcome to a brand new month of November. My name is Ben Nahn. We had a very busy week as we hosted the America East Field Hockey Championships, as well as two hockey games versus Maine. But with the new month of November it comes basketball and postseason play, especially for the men's soccer team this week versus New Hampshire. You can check out that game tomorrow. We have a good show today. Let's get it going, starting with No Nonsense. Led by Alejandro Osorio's two goals, the men's soccer team defeated Hartford 2-0 and secured a first round bye in the Americas Conference Championships. They face New Hampshire at Cushing Field tomorrow at 7 p.m. and look to punch their ticket to their first ever America East Championship. It was an enjoyable weekend at Wicked Blue Field as the field hockey team not only hosted the America East Field Hockey Championships, but played in it as well. In a rematch against Stanford, the Riverhawks fell in the quarterfinals 5-1 to end their season. Finishing at 9-11 overall, they made their second straight tournament appearance and look strong next year as well. Senior Krista Dorn was named to the America East All-Championship team. The volleyball team has hit their last stretch of the season and played in two away matches this past weekend against Stony Brook where they fell in straight sets and then challenged non-conference Iona where they also fell 3-0. The Riverhawks have been in a lot of challenging matches this season and look to come out victorious as they close out the campaign against UMBC Friday and Hartford on Sunday. Turning to the ice now, the men's hockey team split two games against hockey's opponent Maine this past weekend. First on Friday, Christopher Hernberg was strong between the pipes to push the Riverhawks to a 3-2 win. It was a tight contest throughout, but senior defenseman Chris Forney scored the go-ahead goal late in the third period. On Saturday night, the Riverhawks could not replicate the night before and was on the losing end in a 6-2 game. At 4-6 overall and 1-4 in Hockey East Conference, they look to snatch some important wins against New Hampshire on Friday, then return home Saturday against Northeastern. With the America East Championships behind them, both the men's and women's cross-country teams had the week off as they both prepare for the NCAA Northeast Regional, which will take place in Amherst, New York, this Friday. Let's now take some time to look at your Circle Health Plays of the Week. We start with the number three on the hard court. The Riverhawks taking on the Sea Wolves of Stony Brook. Lindsey Visvardis, the libero, laying out once. And a second time with a big dig and a huge point for the Riverhawks. Number two on the power play and on the ice. The Riverhawks taking on the Black Bears of Maine. Chris Forney winds up and an absolute laser that finds the back of the twine. Look at this. Around the horn they go. And Chris Forney finding an opening and a huge go-ahead goal to propel the Riverhawks to a 3-2 victory. And our number one play of the week, the Riverhawks taking on the Hawks of Hartford in the regular season finale. Alejandro Osorio with two goals. Look at this first one. Nice dish from Yakov Basic. And then Owen Miller taking it to the house right here. Winds up and takes a nice shot. Nice save by the keeper, but Osorio there to clean up the mess. His second of the evening. Take a look at this. Nice shot there by Miller and Osorio, right place at the right time. Taps it in, tip tip tap a -roo. Those are your circle health plays of the week. Thanks for watching this week's Riverhawk Report and as always, I'm Ben Nahn. For more information on everything Riverhawks, go on to GoRiverhawks.com. Make sure you support the men's soccer team this Wednesday night as they take on UNH in the America East semifinals at Cushing Field at 7 p.m. On behalf of the Riverhawk Network, I'm Ben Nahn. Have a fantastic week.